Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in to another Excel VBA is fun uh, lesson. Today we're going to talk about the Evaluate Formula. It's super powerful. Uh, I'm going to zoom right into here. I'm going to hit Alt F11. I already have. Um, and we're going to go into our Demo 1 macro. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Evaluate Formula. What is the Evaluate Formula? It is something that can take uh, pretty much anything you throw at it in quotes with some um, parentheses and it will evaluate them and immediately give you an answer. Um, it, you can bypass a lot of things that normally you have to do application dot worksheet function dot vlookup for example or dot sum or sum if or sum product. Sometimes you can bypass that just by e saying ev evaluate. Um, so let's dive right in. Um, this is super powerful. Again, I want to iterate because we all know that if we wanted to take 10 minus 5, we could say um, e equals A1 minus A2. And we'll get the answer. It would be 5. Okay. Um, and we know that we in Visual Basic, we'd have to use range A1 minus range uh, A2. And we'd have to put those in quotes and parentheses. And furthermore, that's an incomplete system sentence. Where is it going to go? How about um, we could let's give it a name. Let's say uh, answer one or answer equals. Okay, then it likes that better. Answer equals. So let's do that. If I if I hit F8 a couple times to debug this, answer is five because A1, 10, minus A2. Okay, but there's an easier way to do this, especially if you're dealing with a lot of things. I'll delete that, and we're going to put brackets for it first of all. This is like a shortcut for the evaluate function. Simply, you put what it, what we normally put in a cell. You put A1 minus A2. Put in these little brackets, not parentheses, in these brackets, okay? So let's let's uh, hit F5, complete that, and I'm going to hit F8 to begin debugging again. If I hit, uh, hit it, the answer is 5, so it took A1 minus A2 without any fancy range stuff. Okay, so uh, you can do it that way. Another way to do that is using the actual evaluate function, and all it says is the name, so it doesn't give you much to go on, but just put whatever. Um, you put your beginning quotes, you put the equal sign just like you would in a normal cell. Equals, we could put sum, just like whatever you normally would put in a in a cell. So we'll do the sum of A1 through let's say A5. And you do your quotes and do your parentheses and it's going to evaluate anything that's within your quotes as if it was contained within an actual cell. Only this time it'll give it to give it over to this variable answer. So I hit F8, F8, F8. 15 is the answer. It took the sum of A1 through A5. Okay. Let's put another number in there. Okay. Uh, Alt F11. All right. So A1 through A5. It's going to take the sum. It's going to shove it in this variable. F8, F8, F8. 168 is the answer, okay? So it's evaluating it. You could also, uh, again, evaluate the other way with the brackets. You could say uh, sum. Well, you got to watch that. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see, A1 through A5. And let's see. F8, F8, F8. Oh, sure enough, it did just fine. So... Uh, you just play around with it. Some I don't think you need an equal sign when you do it this way within the brackets. So there's your evaluate function. Very powerful. Um, you could put all kinds of things in there. You could put equals vlookup and then put your criteria in there and do all that stuff. Anyway, that is the evaluate function. We'll have more on that in some more advanced uh, uh, things. Thank you for tuning in.